I've done everything to it I'm going to do. So, and I am sweating profusely, and I have been all day. So, let's get in the shade. Let's pick these things up, and I'll probably throw on the um, footage from my last fishing trip. It was Trash Fish Thursday. <laughs> Here we are, here we are, today, beautiful day, a little bit of cloud, which is fabulous, very happy to see that, <clears throat> by myself again today, I guess today I can be Lone Wolf McQuaid. <laughs> Instead of Lone Wolf, Lone Wolf Lenny, Lone Wolf McQuaid. A little tougher, a little tougher. I feel a little tougher today. I hope the fishing's not tough. All right, yeah, I got an incoming tide now, which I have not been fishing the incoming tide in about a week or so. So, see if that affects the Cindy right here. Don't listen to me. Don't even... All right, since the tide is going the opposite way, the way that I normally have been fishing this, because of the time of the morning that I've been coming, uh, I'm going to the opposite side of the flat. Um, I was hoping there was enough shells and stuff on the flat where they would just stay on it, but they've obviously moved to a different location here. I'm trying to kind of track them down. Another catfish, all right, that tells me definitely moving. ladyfish guys god hey what i think this is if anything i've learned today it's don't guess what fish you have because i've been wrong every time dang big old sail cat yeah i think right now the way things stand I'm gonna title this video trash fish Thursday uh... I think this is a trout and it is Finally, and a good one. Woo! That took a while. It took way longer than it should have. It looks like a spot where they would school. There's number two. This is a good one. And you can't see my eyes right now because I have sunglasses on. But when I just said good one, my eyes got big. And there went that good one. Actually, he was just like that last one. About the same size. Man, guys, my hook. Okay, I got to retie. There they are. Smaller one this time. Should have been down there, down here the whole time, I guess. Now I know.
pretty good trout. Good one right there. About 19 to 3 quarters, right at 20. On my double rig. Uh, well, good morning, guys. Today, just got through raining. Uh, a morning rain, which is very... Very unusual for us lately. Uh, I'm doing a little project, project with uh, my boat, the one that I'm going to use for freshwater fishing. I'm going to take up to uh, Cedar Town to keep up there for when me and Tammy are visiting, which we are going to be doing pretty soon. The last time I took this boat out, it is a, an aluminum boat. It was, you may have seen the video, it was the only time I've taken it out. It was like 95 degrees and it was hot, hot. But not only was the air hot, the boat itself. All right, so what I did some research and of course figured out that what I need to do because my, my other boat, my big boat is white. And it does not get hot. It doesn't matter how hot it gets. It's not, you know, it the surface is not hot, all that. Plus it's fiberglass. Uh, so they make a material here called Sea Deck. And you can get it where they, you go in and you measure your bow and then they custom cut all the stuff. But that's really, really expensive to have that done. And this stuff is made out of EVA foam. You can see how thick it is. The stuff that they make for you, I think, is a, is a good bit, a little bit thicker than this. But this is really tough foam. And what you do is you cut it out and you put it on the deck of your boat, cover, you know, the uh, sections of the boat. So that's what I am working on. So I guess I'll let you guys kind of hang out and watch me today. Um, it is not cutting it's not so hard but cutting it in circles it's very difficult that is where i have struggled the most and paul has struggled and tammy has struggled and i have struggled cutting this in a circle is not easy um, if you're a person that could figure out a cheap tool that you could make that would cut these things in perfect circles i bet you would make some money i can get done i still have the floor to do and uh we just have these two sections on the back deck done so far all right, so the next section I'm going to do is going to be this little section right here, I believe. Okay, so this is... <coughs> okay, so <coughs> we have discovered that the easiest way to cut this is to turn it upside down. All right. Tammy and Paul used scissors to cut it. Scissors did not work for me. I kind of have to use this straight edge. That was not the start that I wanted. Okay.
Okay, now I have to clean these two sections with uh, acetone so it'll stick good. And I cut the paper, just barely cut it so I don't get down into the foam. Try to line it up the way I want. That looks good. Now let's stick that side down. This is an easy piece because it's little. And I peel this side off. And that was definitely the easiest piece that I've put in yet. So far, making some progress. So these sections right here are very uh, odd shaped. You Well, I have quite a mess to clean up, but I am done. It probably took me a total of, I don't know, 10 hours maybe. But I'm gonna tell you what, when this sun is shining, it is unbelievable. The difference in how cool this is and what it was like before. I mean, it is unbelievable, the difference. I'm so glad I bought this. This is gonna make it much more comfortable to fish in. Um, so I've got this thing ready to go. I've got it ready to carry up to Cedar Town, to Tammy's dad's. I got this mount on here for my uh, depth finder so I can see it up front. Got the transducer attached to the trailer motor up here. Um, I'm, it, this thing is ready to go. I'm glad I got this done. Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire.